here today uh, with a very um, easy, delicious uh, recipe with that is uh, vermicelli pulao. And uh, for that, I'm taking some fresh vegetables here and um, some carrots, some potatoes, some peas, and some green chilies, ginger garlic paste, and some dry, sp dry uh, spices like bay leaves, cinnamon, pilau, and some anise. This is a flower and an elachi, one cardamom and one black elachi. So let's get started. I'm taking uh, four radiant color vegetables here. Uh, one cup of uh, bell pepper, one cup of carrots, some potatoes and frozen peas. Here you can add uh, your vegetables your choice like beans, cauliflower and some green chilies and uh, um, non-roasted vermicelli here. I'll be roasting vermicelli later. And taking some dry spices like bay leaves, cinnamon, clove, one green elachi that is cardamom and one black cardamom with uh, one annie seed here. Crushing some fresh green chilies which is my favorite part and taking a pan, dry pan and doing a dry roast for the vermicelli and uh, on a low flame usually you have to do on a, a low flame um, give it like a stir in between and make sure that you have it like brown a little brown in color that means um, it's really roasted. Doing this it helps not to um, allows not to sticky when uh, you add some water so keeping it aside after the dry roast and I'm taking here in a pan like two spoons of ghee here or unsalted uh, butter or oil but um, for pulao usually ghee is the taste maker and I'm adding some dry spices as you see here some bay leaves cinnamon clove and um, some cashews here you can add even raisins here but I'm just adding some cashews and giving a nice thorough stir fry for the cashews to be brown in color and now here we go with some fresh bell peppers, some potatoes, you can see beautiful color vegetables, it's your choice you can add fresh beans but these are the four vegetables I'm adding here right now, you can see the radiant beautiful colors of the fresh vegetables. giving a stir fry so that all the vegetables get slowly blended into the ghee and with the dry spices and now i'm making a small well in between and adding some ginger garlic paste and some fresh crushed green chilies and giving another stir fry so that all these uh, spices are very well blended in the vegetables. As you see here, now they are completely blended with all the spices. It's all ghee roasted, the ginger garlic paste and now I'm adding a uh, one spoon of salt. Usually um, it doesn't take much salt but depending on the taste, make sure you add one or two spoons of egg salt. giving another stir, a small stir and now I'm going to add the water. The ratio of the water is if you keep take one cup of um, roasted vermicelli you can add one to one and a half cups of uh, hot water. That's the ratio so here I've taken uh, and in that ratio I'm adding some water to the vegetables. closing the lid for some time and waiting for it to boil and now let's uh, see here my vegetables are completely cooked in the water and oh my god such an aroma the ghee aroma and now it's the time for me here i'm adding the dry roasted uh, vermicelli into it you can add it slowly and here you need not worry at all they become sticky because there are two things we have completely dry roasted and we have added water in proportion so as you see here, taking a spatula, I'm slowly blending the vermicelli into the vegetables. Give a very, very slow stir. And once you see that all the vermicelli and the vegetables are completely blended, 
as you see here the water is completely absorbed before i keeping the lid too so it's all at the stage here it's not cooking but in steam usually the vermicell is steaming now it's cooking in steam so keeping the lid back for another 5 to 10 minutes in a low flame make sure to put it in a low flame and now it's time to see oh my god my delicious vermicelli pulao is completely ready and you see here it is not sticky at all so this is a thorough thing like like it is completely cooked and it is time to serve and enjoy oh my god you can see the beautiful color and the vermicelli cooked <laughs> Oh, wow, it really really tastes so delicious. Thank you all once again for watching my video and please give a try.